So I'm back out here with Nick. I came to see Nick again because uh, I uploaded your video today and lots of people wanna help you. Um, you you wanna go back home. You said you're ready to go home. Uh, I talked to your mom, Jennifer. I talked to your sister, uh, it was her birthday and uh, I talked to her on the phone today and they want you back. Uh, sounds like you wanna go back. You just need yeah. a little bit of assistance, right? And so. The Lost in Phoenix family is uh, a lot of people donating. They want to help out to get you back home, to get you out of the the lion's den. Okay, this is yeah. it's dangerous here. So, um, wh what do you think about all these strangers just wanting to help you? Uh, when I first heard that, it was it was a shock because I didn't think that when he first said that on the last video, I didn't think it was going to happen. So, all you guys are helping out. I really appreciate that because I'm in a bind right now. And I don't have any money, and it's hard for me to. You know, I'm out here, I'm struggling, I don't have anything, I'm sleeping in a tent, you know, I haven't showered, I just, I need to get home really bad. Um, so, all the support you guys can give, it, it helps, because I'm struggling, so I really appreciate that, yeah. Uh, when I got here, I let you use the, my phone so you can talk to your mom and your sister, how did that conversation go? Uh, it was, it was a bit stressful and sad, because they, you know, they, I've been out here for over a month now, and they really want me to come home, and I don't really have any answers for them, but I told them, like, if I can get the plane ticket, you know, then I can come home. And they, you know, it was, it was kind of, there was some hope there on that. And, uh, what, um, once you get home, okay, so, uh, today is Monday, uh, Monday evening, it's dark, it's cold, but, uh, this coming Friday, uh, if people come through to get you a, a bus ticket, I'll be able to take you to the, the terminal, the Greyhound yeah. terminal. All right. uh, it'll, it'll drive you all the way to, uh, where's home? Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay, so your your mom, your family has agreed to pick you up? Yes, yes sir, yeah. Okay, so what are your plans once you do get home? Uh, the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to find a rehab. And if I can't, then I'm going to get outpatient services. My mom says she would let me stay there. So it's looking good, you know, I just gotta get that support and get get going. Okay, and uh, your, uh, your tent is located really close to Migs and Carla. I've been talking to them for going on almost a year, pretty soon. Uh, they've been out here for, for a while, for, you know, for years. Uh, and this is their situation. Um, when you see people that's, that are your age, uh, Carla's 19, you're 18, he makes his 25, but you guys are on the younger side. What are your thoughts when you see people all around you that are young out in the street? The main thing is I see how bad it is and I don't want to end up like that. That's the main thing that I think of. You know, I, I feel bad for him. I don't, I don't want to, I don't feel like I'm that bad yet and I don't want to get there if I can help it. That's what, um, that's what your mom said that you still look relatively well right you don't look like you're too far gone how do you feel though do you feel different from where, what you used to feel uh, like or look yeah, like or yeah it's yeah you know the things that i've done and everything is taking a toll on me but i feel like if i stop as soon as possible i could i could regain most of my normalness you know okay and uh have have you received help in the past to try to get you out of here? Um, uh, no, not really. No? No. Okay. Uh, You're gonna, so this is, um, so with the Lost in Phoenix community that's uh, rallying around you to try to get you out of here and reunite you with your family, um, Will you be uh, appreciative of the help and, and, and the, the effort that they're giving to get you out of here? I think it'll be a miracle. That's that's all I can say. It'll be a miracle and a blessing. You know, it, it that's all I need. Uh, it's, that's how I am. One step away from getting back to everyone I love and everything that I need to help me. So uh, everything you own in the world is in this tent, right? It looks like you have a, a bike. Yeah. Uh, and then your shoes are in there, your clothes are inside, right? And you yeah. do that so that people don't steal it at night or what that's right that's right yep. okay I can't leave anything out i can't leave one shoe out they'll take one shoe from me you know i, I have to keep everything inside i don't want to live like that anymore uh yeah. so i heard a little bit of um 
you and your mom were talking and uh, you mentioned to her that, hey, mom, don't worry, I'm, I'm eating, right? I'm, I'm, I'm just here in a tent. Uh, do you get to eat? I mean, uh, I kind of told her that so she wouldn't worry about me, but I, I don't eat much, though. You know, I get whatever I can get every now and then, you know, but I don't eat, I don't eat as much as I should. No. Um, that's why you need to get home, okay, Nick? That's yeah. why you need to get home so you can be surrounded by family, have that support, get that treatment you need. And um, we were talking about this coming Friday, and you're gonna try to get some Suboxone or Subutex yeah. to kind of hold you over, right, until you reach a treatment center. And you're gonna need that so that you don't get sick, right? Yes, sir. Don't okay. Want to be sick. Is that your biggest fear? I mean, it was one of the biggest ones, yeah, because it, it's it's a lot. Of, it's very painful when you, when you, when your body's coming down off of that. So. I don't want to be like that because the bus ride is 50 hours plus and I don't want to be like that for that long. What are your other fears? Um, basically, that's it. You know, I just fear that maybe something won't work out, but that's, you know, basically just the sickness, yeah. Okay. Okay, Nick, so uh, thank you for talking to me. I came out here and let you know that people want to get you out of here. That's the reason why I came to look for you so that yeah. you wouldn't leave, so you, uh -huh. I wouldn't lose you. Yeah. Okay, so now you know today is Monday. In, a, in, a, in several days on, on Friday, I'll be out here and I'll physically pick you up, give you a ride and take you to the bus terminal, okay? Is that okay. the deal? Yes, sir, yeah. I, I'm very appreciative of you guys too. That's, I, I didn't think that was gonna happen. It was a shock, so you guys, just all the support I can get, I appreciate it, yeah. Excellent, okay, so I'm gonna go talk to your, uh, your neighbors, uh, Migs and Carla, all right. and uh, I'll see you soon, okay? All right, thank you, man. Okay, so uh, Migs, yeah. you saw me talking to uh, to your neighbor Nick. Right. Um, so he might be going back home to North Carolina. What are your thoughts on that, dude? Mm, all I gotta say is, uh, is God bless him. I want him to 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 do good. You know, I will. Well, not like personally, I want him to do good because I don't know how how. He, how exactly he got here but he told me something about rehab and then he told me too that he lives in north carolina and i was like i uh, like i was tripping but then he told me oh and your mom your mom helped me out a little bit she's letting me stay right there um i think she i think she was letting him stay on on the little dog's bed on the little dog's bed or somewhere i don't even know exactly where but and then i i, I just don't want to see him like 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 I don't want him to come back over here in, 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 in like for, 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 um, for like something bad, you know, and I, I know he could do good. I know he's a good kid. I could tell he's a good kid, but like, like, I, I would not, I don't, I don't even want to say, but you know, like, like I'm going to, I'm not, I'm going to have faith. I'm going to pray for him and uh, uh, that's last last but not least you know is is i'm time time all right much love fam you know do good over there don't don't do nothing bad if you did something bad to come over here um and have a beautiful time over there and a, and a blessed time over there too you know uh migs what, what do you got going on are you cooking or what are, what, are, what are you doing right now um i'm 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 gonna start a fire because i'm a cook and i'm making i'm making I'm making the fire that way that way the 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 that way the wood it could it could um um start start like like turning into into like 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 a cherry you know so then I'm gonna start breaking the wood while it's on fire as soon as I see it red and then all the little red pieces the shiny little little light red pieces the cherries I'm yeah. I'm getting them and I'm gonna put them in here and then this I'm gonna fill it up with way more rocks but I'm, I go, I'm going around and I'm like getting rocks and I'm putting them in here and then I'm getting all the cherries putting them in here and then I put it in there as a little heater I put them in the cherry also that way it won't be all smoky like how they're smoking me out of the grill right now you know because I don't want my lady to get sick or I don't want her to, to ha end up having breathing problems and because I want her to stay warm too you know I love her okay so basically that's your heater for tonight 
Yep. Okay. What's for dinner? Right now I am working on macaroni and cheese um, with some tapatio. Uh, I'm gonna put a lot of tapatio. <laughs> it's actually pretty good, but other than that, I'm gonna make some, some deep fried quesadillas with flour tortillas. Um, and I'm also gonna make, and I'm also gonna make, what else am I gonna make? Oh yeah, no, actually I was, I wasn't done with how I'm gonna make that. I'm gonna make flour tortillas with, with, um, no, not flour tortillas. I'm gonna deep fry quesadillas with ham and I'm gonna make them with flour tortillas. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's what I meant to say. Okay. Yep. So, uh, <clears throat> I would stick around for dinner, but you guys didn't invite me. Right, I mean, I'm a pretty beautiful cook, you know, but I mean, it's not it's not the, the best thing out here, you know, it's not the most beautiful place to eat out, like, out here, you know, but. Carla, when he said he's a beautiful cook, you, 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 you had like a little smile. <laughs> Does he cook good? Yeah, he cooks good. Who cooks better, Migs or your mom? Your mom. Your mom cooks better? Migs, you got a little work to do, huh? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I'm pretty, I'm pretty great at cooking, but uh, uh, mother, mother is is the the number one cook all the time. You know, they they're the ones that stay home, so they do a lot of cooking. Yeah. I mean, where where do you think all these chocolate cakes, the, all these good tasting chocolate cake, cakes come from? It's not from a, a man that's working on wood all day. Right, right. Yeah. Um. So um. So I was I came looking for Nick. Uh, because uh, people want to get him out of here, want, want to uh, help him with the bus ticket, right? So yes, um, I just want to say hi to Migs and Carla, see what you guys are up to. So uh, please stay safe and uh, have a good night, guys, okay? Yes, sir. Peace out.